Hello and welcome to Emerald Metals, your one-stop channel for all things RC, 3D printing, and fabric arts. Uh, today we're going to be doing a quick review of the Exmoor printer from Amazon.com, uh, which is an ANET 8 clone. Um, and it was uh, available at a good price, so I thought I'd pick it up and, uh, and give it a try. Uh, however, there are lots of problems with uh, this unit. Um, and I did read a lot of the comments on Amazon, and uh, if you are a really uh, hardcore DIY person, uh, yeah, I guess this will be some, maybe something of interest to you, but there are so many better units for the same price, I don't know why you would, would buy uh, this unit. So let's start with, uh, with the critique. Um, I, I wish I could say that there are some good things about it, but there's not. Let's start with the bad things. Uh, the, the switch here on the uh, x-axis, okay, there's no room for the wires. I had to actually take these off and then re-solder uh, the connections on so that it would fit because the way it was designed is that it actually interfered with the, with the uh, threaded rod. Uh, not a big problem, but just one of many. So uh, that had to be re-soldered and uh, replaced. A better location for this would be up above here, maybe, but they would need to add a bit of a stopper up here to do it. Uh, the other thing is the location of the sensor. You can see from a previous video uh, that uh, I had done a mod to this to actually make the printer functional. The sensor is normally located over at the front, which makes bed leveling almost impossible. You'll do it once, and then it will be out the next time you try to print something. So this little mod as well as the links to this, uh, to this uh, 3D printable uh, grill uh, solves a lot of that problem. But that was definitely a problem with the unit. Uh, the Z-axis is out, actually from the top to the, if you measure from the, the top to the bottom, uh, the Z-axis, the dimensions are out by about two to three millimeters. So it makes these wads actually not parallel anymore. Uh, the uh, the x-axis is slop in it. I mean, this here, uh, on this side here, will go up and down on its own. Just from gravity alone, uh, it's, it's, it's very, very sloppy. Uh, there's no instructions, uh, very limited instructions, uh, a video, but it skips, the video skips so many steps. Uh, if you're a novice, this is, this is an impossible build. Uh, technical support was lacking. I mean, there was someone that answered questions, but they really had no clue what you were writing in English. Uh, so it became very frustrating and tried to uh, deal with them. The power supply uh, has no on and off switch. And it's also too weak. This printer will never do ABS. Although it says it will do ABS, it is strictly a PLA machine. There's not enough power going to the bed to get it to temperatures. That would, uh, that would work for uh, ABS. So definitely, although it advertises wood, ABS, and all the other plastics, it will not. It's a PLA printer only. Um, and there is no tensioners for the X and Y, for the, uh, for the X and Y axes over here, which would make it uh, uh, nice to adjust the belt tensions. Uh, I think there's, there's more. One of the big ones I found that was a, one of the, was the, uh, was that the wires actually on the back of the heated bed. Now I've replaced them and I have actually put on shrink wrap. Uh, the, where they had soldered the, uh, the, the uh, 12 volt lines onto the bed for heating, uh, they stripped the wire too, too long and they also stripped the wire too long for the sensor. So when the cable was moving back and forth, it actually, the uh, hot wire crossed over to the sensor and melted the wire and caused, uh, caused a little flame. Uh, I mean, something I was here at the time, but it scared the crap out of me that if I wasn't around, this could have been, this could have been a bit of a disaster. So uh, that was, uh, I repaired that by putting shrink wrap on. So all in all, do not buy this machine. Uh, I would definitely look at the ANET 8 original uh, you can buy. Uh, GTEC, still out there, still providing some of the best Prusa clones out there, solid material, solid instructions, uh, solid support, um, uh, definitely, uh, definitely a way to go. Uh, and also look at Monoprice. Monoprice has uh, a lot of good, uh, a lot of good machines. Don't waste your time on this. This will be frustrating. 
Um, and uh, I, I certainly wouldn't recommend it to anybody. So I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please uh, say like uh, and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time at Everett Meadows. Bye-bye for now.